Hello and welcome to Super vs. League, hosted here in collaboration with Wicked X Mage. And we are going to jump into our very first match. Nope. Oh, already messed up my, you know, only job. Already messed up the poll. Good thing there's like only, looks like Summer Turtle here. <laughs> No one saw my mistake. <laughs> oh, and Hendrix, and Dark Fidget, and Otterman. What's Lunar Lucky doing here? Anyway. Looks like we're waiting for start. We are just currently waiting on confirmation from both of the runners that they are ready. Alright. Alright, we've started up. They've both abandoned Peach and Toad at a castle. Probably dangerous based on previous Mario games. Ooh, I like level that has demolition in the title. Ah, they immediately skipped it. Didn't even give that one a chance. But now they're on a fancy Bowser Castle level. Um, because that CDR is um, Lunar Lucky. I think started off with their first level, but I might have missed a skip. They have a fancy propeller hat. It looks like, did they do a void jump to get a key? And had a, oh, CDR is chain chomp riding. Oh, oh dear. Is that a pop bomb that they have to use to get across those spikes? Meanwhile, Lunar Lucky is having an interesting time with the propeller hat and some tornadoes. CDR has returned to the chain shop and is now on to that bomb that gave him trouble earlier. Oh dear! CDR could not um, finish that level. You know, Lunar Lucky's made it back to those. We're almost at the top of those tornado things. Looks like they have an interestingly long jump. Ah, uh, they have a sandstorm, I see. Wait, did CDR skip, or has CDR been on the same level? It definitely looks like the same level. Oh, just one skip, though, not the two. Okay. I thought that he skipped when he saw that the, um, the way that those um, blocks at the end worked. Oh, this is an interesting one with the Super Mario 2 mushroom. Oh dear, and Lunar Lucky immediately skipped after seeing um, Find a P-Switch. CBR must ride a 
bullet bill. It was like they're prepping to pick it up again. Oh, interesting. They knew something that I did not. They're like his uh, very interesting 3D world level. And Lunar Lucky cleared another level. Uh, CDR is still working on this Mario Maker 2 level. There's an interesting challenge of having to bop this dude without getting stuck with him. Oh, but they got a star. And it looks like CDR has skipped again. Uh, Lunar Lucky is melting some blocks of ice. CDR is going through skips. I'm control with like a head on top jump. Lunar Lucky's still just melting some spiky mans. Oh dear. Poundy fisty thinky. Oh. And still having trouble with those jumps on top and decided to skip it's like cdr is on to their third level so she looks like they're tied based on lunar lucky's skip on that last level I guess the CTR was checking. Not entirely sure what CTR is doing. Something clearly very smart that I do not understand. Getting very, very effectively attacked by Cat Bowser. Well, Lunar Lucky just explores a mansion. And Lunar Lucky skips yet again. Well, CDR finished their third level. Lunar Lucky's still working on their third. Also, a little bit over halfway through. I'm actually, decently close. Although, Lunar Lucky's not having a good time with all of those little sparkies that are attacking them. There's a lot of those things falling from the sky. For whatever reason, just a set of Bowsers. But they did clear. It looks like. Indeed, they did. I've noticed an 
I'll be completely honest, I have not played very much Mario Maker. I was not aware of this strategy where you pause immediately after entering the level. CDR sadly got an auto scroller, it looks like, with just a lot of enemies. Just lots of things happening on the screen that if you touch very much end that run. Lunar Lucky got another clear under their belt. Definitely working just a little bit faster than CDR. At least in this portion. Earlier, CDR was completing pretty quickly, I think. sure what this level that CDR is in is doing. I think it's a puzzle where you have to drop a ba bomb Oh. And CDR has obtained one more clear. Oh, Lunar Lucky fell into a one block hole. Dear, yep, <laughs> CDR very quickly skipped the uh, puzzle level. Oh, it looks like Lunar is up to their fifth clear. It's very good for Lunar. Ooh, CDs are, ooh. CDR is on to a lovely night level. And Lunar has a couple bullet bills. Just just a spattering of... Um, oh my gosh. CDR just crushed a level with... What, like three saws and a ton of little spiky stabby thingies. That was... Ridiculous looking to me, although I'm sure the people who've actually are okay at Mario Maker are not as impressed as I am at that. We're just under three minutes left. Lunar Lucky skipped again. Another tide for clears. Looks like Lunar Lucky skips again. Honestly, reasonable with this little time left. Oh. Don't you love I like the I like so many of these themes. Oh, although I do not like the um angry sun. Those are uh, not as enjoyable. Looks like CDR either cleared or skipped. We'll see when he reaches the um, overview screen. That is a lot of, I think, magic Koopa spells. Oh, is this just a time alive level?
Oh dear. Lunar Lucky got a P balloon. My understanding is that those are not preferred in the community. But I could be very wrong. Looks like CDR got another clear, putting him one ahead of Lunar. Putting CDR at the six clears, and Lunar, I believe, presently at five. Although, yep. Lunar's used another skip. Possibly either just use their last one or is on their last one. Having a lovely time with the spinny level. Wait, did CDR just get their CDR just got their seventh clear? Which means that CDR has won with seven. 10 seconds left on the clock. I think, if I understand the rules correctly, which I'm sure Pufferfish will correct me if I am horribly wrong. So CDR won based on clear with literally 10 seconds left. Kind of impressive. And when you're just after time, 15 seconds after, got their sixth clear. Good game to CDR, who will be moving on to the next bracket. So our oh, best out of three. Interesting. Ooh, that means that I can end the poll after this first match. We still have two matches to, and of course no one voted because there's no one here. There's literally three viewers. Uh. Alright, let me reset these counters real quick. We are on to... Waiting on them to ready, I assume. I'm muted. We're off again with another our round two of CDR versus Lunar Lucky. CDR already has one win. Looks like Lunar Lucky had a bit of a slow start, but I'm sure they'll be able to catch up with the way that some of these levels are laid out. CDR scouting all their options.
Lunar Lucky going for the secrets and find themselves a couple of one-ups and a fire flower. Well, the one-ups I don't feel like play in very much to this tournament. Um, the fire flower clearly does. I'm not sure where the clear is or what they're doing. Oh, CDR finished. Oh, skip. Ooh, two skips on C no one skip on CDR. I'm clueless. Got there. One skip on CDR. Ooh, there's a clear condition to defeat Bowser. Probably not that interesting. But it's there. The fun lava lakes run. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of thwomps. Holy. Well, Lunar Lucky's doing a little bit of a dropper challenge. Oh dear. Oh, now they have a slightly more challenging dropper challenge with the. Uh, What if the black prana plant is in the middle muncher there's a muncher in the middle of the platform but just put the first clear on the board almost at the same time as cdr actually almost exactly the same time although i think cdr got slightly faster on the actual clear i almost have one clear on the board with CDR the only one having skipped at this point. Lunar Lucky has gotten a couple of one-ups. And CDR got a very effect heavy. With Lunar Lucky appearing to have gotten a slightly trolly? No. Just didn't know to react to that bullet bill fast enough, I don't think. Yeah. Ooh. The blind jumps are... Oh! Lunar Lucky's very close to the finish on that level, actually. With CDR's effects continuing all of the screen space effects. Ah, and CDR just got the finish on that level. Oh, Lunar is still having some trouble <laughs> dropping onto the platforms. They have to jump across in order to finish theirs. Looks like they've considered skipping almost every time they've died at this point, but... Canceled, and they finally got to that finish line. CDR's, CDR is on to a very saw-heavy level. Well, it looks pretty doable. Both are tied for clear still, which is... Quite interesting. CDR has another clear. Very nice. Oh, I like that little, um, using the thwomp to time how long you can be on a platform. That was kind of a cool mechanic to see. Lucky just got another clear and a one up. CDR putting on a, another skip. The racers this game have been uh, very. Oh, CDR. 
immediately skip that level. Ooh. Oh, did she try to skip again? You see her gonna play a level? Other than the three that he's completed. Oh, that's actually kind of smart. And Lunar Lucky. Oh, so I'm reacting to nothing. Apparently CDR is being bright and um, pausing to check the world record. Um, and will therefore early skip the long complete levels. Oh dear. I just had to play some Minecraft to... Break through. And now they have to be... Uh, Smart about their usage of their... Ooh. They did good in using a single bomb got through. Dear Lunar Lucky and coming out of a... Higher thing, they could fall onto some blocks, so... Um... Do not agree. We've now seen that challenging in two rounds. Oh, CDR has a lot of these. Use a shell to get through. And Lunar Lucky is still having trouble with the... getting through or falling onto the single blocks. Well, CDR has actually kind of a, I kind of like that level design. It kind of looked like, um, it was just kind of very simple. Just don't touch this point and jump onto these things and you can't go higher than this was very simple and lovely and got their first cl fourth clear meanwhile lunar lucky also just got their fourth clear they keep finishing like right on top of each other so six minutes left at this point it's very close um cdr may run out of skips soon but otherwise they're completing levels both pretty much on time and Plenty of time to complete their next three levels. Lunar Lucky did another skip. Oh dear, that is many swamps. Oh, it appears to be a... Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Mm. Don't hit the power switch. That was a bad plan. That was a bad plan. Oh, I see. They're trying to... Oh, oh, no. Yeah, they need to be in the car, I think, for that jump. Oh, interesting. I guess the power switch only affects coins that are on screen? No, I'm very partial to CDR's level, although I have liked... Ooh, Lunar Lucky just got by the requirement for the car initially. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And then they made the mistake of going to a magic teleport me away cube. Well, CDR is still on this lovely airship level. One of the first levels I tried to create in Mario Maker 2, ironically, was a airship level. And Lunar was just sent back to the first portion of the their level for trying to cheese and 
not completing a car. Although they are very close to completing without the car. I wonder if there's a reason that they're not going for the car. Really start over. CDR finally fell off the airship. And CDR is skipping. That seemed like a very long level, so probably smart, especially with this little time left. Now, Lunar is still just inches away from completing this car level. Not sure why Lunar isn't, or why Lunar isn't using that. Uh, however, oh, interesting that Thwomp will cause problems for you. <laughs> CDR has a get hit, get a mushroom pattern, and so on to some actually kind of fun looking um, chain. Runs. And Lunar Lucky finally finished that, uh... Level, and CDR just beats boss on their level. They keep finishing within just seconds of each other. I don't have to actually watch to discover who wins. They're tied on clears and have been pretty consistently finishing at the same time. Lunar Lucky is having an interesting time with a very bullet bill heavy ice level. While CDR is in a cave. Oh, CDR is Link. Interesting. I don't actually make that level very interesting to watch. And it's a very Legend of Zelda-esque puzzle level. Although <laughs> it's not clear. Oh. So Lunar just finished another level and CDR did a skip. So unless CDR can pull out a win in the next 45 seconds... This is probably going to go to Lunar. With these very random expert levels. Who knows how long they are. Ooh, only 10 seconds left. CDR looks pretty close to the a finish, maybe. Yeah, but it looks like Lunar Lucky stole the win by a single clear. And I suppose that pushes us into the 3 out of 3. Or match 3 of 3. Since CDR has not, yeah, has has won the first one, and Lunar has won this second match. Lunar appears defiant to finish this uh, last level. In the meantime, we'll zero our counters.
Ooh, and Lunar did get that finish. Although well outside of time. Like our timer's reset and they're waiting for the start. So whoever wins this match will be moving on to game, I think, six, which we will be restreaming later this evening. CDR in a very normal move at this point is opened with a skip. As is Lunar, having trouble jumping over to get to the finish. Well, it looks like CDR has a lava synced speed level. I almost feel like I recognize that level. And again, it's a pretty generic level. And Lunar Lucky is doing quite a few piranha plant jumps. And CDR got the first clear in this match. Ooh, Lunar. Having trouble with the pathing, I think, initially. Which is pretty understandable on this level. It definitely does not seem very clearly laid out with all of the just air. But, got their first finish. Tying Lunar and CDR. CDR has started uh, quite the winter wonderland. Although it appears as though CDR has two skips. Uh -uh. Oh dear, Lunar has a very interesting mechanic level. Although, to CDR's benefit, he is on a uh, much more speedrunny level. Um, it has a shorter timer, which is probably good. And oh dear, what happened to Lunar Lucky? That was probably not an awful skip. It's a really obnoxious screen space effect. Why? Why? Why would Nintendo add that? Oh, interesting. On CDR's level, you're forced to use your mushroom power-up. And level creators use those paths to guide through the different jumps. Oh, Lunar's in a snowy level again. Two snowy levels. Um, a lovely stilt-at. CDR skipped again. Didn't like the speedrun level. Oh dear. And then immediately. Oh my gosh. CDR.
skipping quite frequently right now. And while Lunar Lucky is doing a Stiltat jump as opposed to Yoshi jump. Dear. CJR is quite effectively sight reading some jumps. And got a finish. Interesting. And Lunar Lucky just triple powed a boss for another clear. Uh, yeah, I caught Lunar's second clear. I'll stick a third now. Oh dear, this is a very interesting uh, spike maze with disintegrating platforms. Well, CDR is in a very interesting desert level. That's a lot of those little green dudes. Oh dear. And another skip from CDR only has one left. Well, Lunar Lucky got a clear. Ooh. I think I was just told what that jump was, but, uh... Isn't it something fancy with the shell on top of the snapper? Oh, interesting. Well, it only messed up the last jump. Well, Lunar Lucky. Start overing to speed up a little bit. Not sure why there was a door used there. Interesting. Hmm. Looks like Lunar Lucky has to clear out a bunch of piranha plants in order to let something by, and CDR got their third clear. Good with Lunar Lucky approaching. Well, Lunar Lucky is having a lot of trouble with this level with the Prana Plants, and rightfully skipped. CDR, I believe, only has one more skip left. Well, this looks like quite an easy level. Yeah. CDR got their fourth complete. Lunar Lucky has some trouble jumping onto a single block. Ooh, interesting. Immediately ditched the key somehow. And has a cat Bowser attacking. CDR is on a very busy level. Yeah, Lunar got there. Fourth clear, tying up the racers yet again. Now CDR is tanking hits to get out of this level. And is into a boss fight. Well, handled it in no time. I'm just getting a lot of these 3D world levels this match.
I don't know. Do the racers know anything about the other racer? Interesting. Oh dear. CDR has a very interesting boss fight with very little attack ability. And Lunar Lucky is skipping after a Ludwig battle. Oh dear, CDR is very large and got their fifth clear. Still on their last skip, I think. Wow, Lunar Lucky has moved on to finally a 2D level. Oh dear, and overshot the door. Those could be ice blocks, although I'm not... Not accustomed to all of the themes available. Good jump over that um, flame stick, though. And CDR just used their last skip. Won't be able to skip based on the world record anymore if they don't like how long it'll take. Oh dear, Lunar Lucky has a bit of a maybe Guitar Hero-esque jump to the next falling platform deal. Oh, they only had one falling platform, and this time they did not overshoot that door. Assume that the Overlay means that it's in a boss fight, which it was. Well, CDR has a very power-heavy Bowser fight. And, um, so the clear condition. It looks like they've met. And that's CDR with another finish. Lunar Lucky's going to have to get three wins out in the next three minutes before CDR can get one in order to come back from this. Who is not having a good time with these reversing belts. Ooh, but did get the power switch that they needed. I don't know, on a very interesting, um, vine wall with, that's a lot of springs moving where okay they did want to go just to the right interesting lunar lucky is it's almost like an auto playing level almost until you get to the boss fight and bowser jr is not not kind Oh, interesting, the floor irregularly moves left and right. That's unpleasant. Meanwhile, CDR has a Yoshi. Ooh, swap the fire Yoshi for the regular Yoshi. Oh, and did a Yoshi, ju Yoshi jump. So you get on top of that Goomba Tower. Lunar with another clear. I only have to get two more in the next minute 45. And still have three skips to use. Oh, and CDR got the, the final clear necessary to secure them the victory. So CDR takes this one with the first win and the final win. And will be joining us a little bit later tonight for the. We join us a little bit later tonight for the third game that we will be streaming here, which will decide whether they go to the final over on the other Wicked 
X-Mages channel.